What's up everyone, Hobbit here, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We helped Saul last time, at Pan Am's request. He'd been captured, he was being held in a gang hideout, and we got him out. Alone, by the way, which is a heroic deed if I've ever seen one. And we got a kiss from Pan Am for that. Which surprised me a little bit, because she'd been uh, distanced the night before, but it turns out apparently that she just wants to take things a little slower. Which is nice, which I can definitely appreciate, uh, and uh, I liked it. As for now though, we're gonna meet with Detective Ward, I believe, the one who tried to warn the mayor about the murder attempt, and see what he knows about all of that. See what we can figure out. I got out to see Claire. Thanks for that last talk. We'll make sure Samson's chewing dirt. I'm going to try and be a friend to everyone. Whoa. Whoa. Building 3, 7. Looks a lot like the buildings in Dread, doesn't it? El Capitan. POV. Check it. There's a site on the net how to smear the mayor. Well, then hold. Well, the acting mayor, because, you know, he's up for re-election or whatever. Yeah, politics, am I right? Mudslinging never stops. Not for a mean. Anyhow, my client wants that site sucked into the cold vacuum of cyberspace. Scan the brief if you need more info. Sure thing. I will. Good type, Agent Saboteur. Bring down propaganda machine, slandering Walton, Weldon Holt. Garage in Oak Street. Politics. Only thing slimier than the thongs at Lex. At least corpos usually tell you to your face how they're gonna screw you in the end. Fake smiles, impossible promises, shameless pandering. All foreplay till they fuck you in the ass and pay themselves for it with eddies out of your wallet. It's in their nature and what's in ours? Blowing shit up. Got just such a gig for you this time. Sixth Street got a stiffy. Jefferson Perales. So they have the service pumping out anti hope propaganda. They see Perales becoming mayors like the second coming of Abraham Lincoln or some shit. Here to unite the city with the NUSA, naive gonks. TLDR, my client wants six street propaganda machine gone. Simple. Um, am I supposed to choose one or the other? Because I'm gonna do both jobs. I'm gonna help them and hinder them. Wait, what's going on here? You heard what Pepe said. Take a fucking walk. Chew, fuck off. Or I plant my blade in your ribs. Really? I wonder what Mama Wells would say. What she'd do when she sees you two gonks fucking up her joint. My bet she'd whip out a shotgun and blast your heads off. That's true. Oh yeah, you sure about that? Landed in a little trouble. Cleaned up. God damn, sorry. I think I've had a little too much. Fuck, what a night. Why? Why'd you help me? I was in the neighborhood. Because you would have caught a bee. This, fucking this is my bar, man. People Don't want trouble in it. Mind my own business. If it weren't for you, I'd... Here, for your trouble. Okay, hey, thanks. Uh, Not bad. Bartender got the rest. Pepe, you got the rest? Circling in like sharks on a scent of fresh corporal. Right? Could have ended badly if you had missed it. Yeah, well, not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> How about we drink to you? On the house. Uh, sure, you know what, why not? Won't say no to a free drink. To good fortune and prosperity. Long day? Could say that again. 
I'm on a double. Break. Working overtime to make an extra buck? Nah, just don't want to go home. Ten Why? Years, What's up? Ten years and suddenly I'm not good enough. No, she has to go get some side action. Anyhow, since you brought up money, you wouldn't be looking for a gig, would you be? Base on it. Run me through it. It's about my wife, right? Name's Cynthia. She's cheating. I'm sure of it. Only question is, who will? Could let it eat away at me. Or I could get someone like you. And no more than an evening's work. Sure she's cheating on you. Let's start with the fact that she always stays late after work. I know she's lying. Called her office one night. She wasn't even there. Besides that, well, we got a kid together, right? Doesn't even look like me. Different hair, different eyes, all of it. Used to be easy to check these things, but with today's tech, there's a way around every test now. Why you want to know who she's with? What's the point? What's the point? What kind of gunk question is that? Simple one. Answer it. I want to look him in the eyes. Ask him how it feels fucking some other guy's wife, breaking up a happy marriage. Man, Pepe, it's not a happy marriage, okay? If she's doing that, she's not, he's not making her do it. Gonna have to keep tabs on your wife, follow her around town. Where'd she be now? She works nearby, I'll give you the address. Knowing her, she'll be on a smoke break. Smoke's like a goddamn tire fire. Like half this city. Wait. Today, she was wearing a pink jacket, and uh, she had a blue purse, I think. Colorful. Always like dressing up. Get a woman something nice for her birthday, anniversary. And what do you get in return? Okay, fine. I'm in. I'll do it. My hero. It means a lot to me. I'll do it, but you should know that I think this is a bad idea, okay? I'll do it afterwards, though. A bit later. CD Bar's betrayal of the guiling woman sounds like something out of a pulp noir thriller. Pepe was used to listening to his customers' complaints, but now it was he who needed to get something off his chest. Johnny, the same old story. don't make fun of Pepe, okay? In a city where everything is uncertain. You're about done. I'm trying to focus. No making fun of Pepe. I respect that guy a lot. Nice little diner. Let's see here. Someone here to see you, looks like. Yeah. I what about it. Wanted to talk. That is him. You got a minute? You must be the partner, Detective Hahn. Hello, Detective. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. Now I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? I'm just sitting here sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not like this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be over her. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Who is? I'll huh? take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan of anybody except his daughter. You wanted to talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to you. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry, never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. 
I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. I'm just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. So, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Fair enough. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. I guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Mom was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. I've got my car outside. Okay, sure. People reliving BDs? Not right now. But she's got the wreath on just like that. It's suddenly raining? I think it wasn't raining a second ago. Some okay. of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo shooting up dumpsters. Hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. He took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Hmm. So you saw him Wait. as a potential threat, what? decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because he got a good heart. I'll make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. It's not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? Someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. What's with the sound? Hey, where'd you go, man? He wanted done unofficial. There you are. The hush hush. Morales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out. Yeah. <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. Maybe. So he thinks Holt's involved? No. But even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Oh yeah, that would make sense. I think it's it makes more sense than him being afraid. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan. The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Up to me. <laughs> Sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where'd you first? Sheesh. Um, let's meet with the CI. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. You went outside. All right. Who is this guy? Dude, I can't hear you. You gotta talk to me. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Last time we met, it didn't go so well for him. I'm gonna read his thing. People he read it out got wind of it. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me, at least voluntarily. All right, wait here then. To the store. Isn't this supposed to be a club? I thought it was a club. But it's a store. Or is it a club? It's... If it's a club, it's a weird club. If it's a store, it's a very strange store. Oh, it's a sex shop. Yeah, okay. Fine by me. Oh, you're looking to for read uh, here. general inspiration or something specific? Looking for you, actually. Looking for a club. Red Queen's race? If I was you, I'd try somewhere a little more welcoming. 
Lizzie's over in Kabuki is a good start. Or Cloud's in Japantown. Want an address. Look, club's invitation only, right? You don't know the address. It means you're not welcome. Igor says hi. Fuck no. Said I was done. I was out. No. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Alone, all of you. He's outside now. I'm pretty sure. Fuck. Hey, Neil. <laughs> this off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come well, on, me? ghost, I said. Okay. Let me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. She wasn't talking to me. She wasn't talking to me. Red Queen's race. Give us the address. We're gone. Heard that already last time. Then those motherfuckers show broke all my fingers. I wasn't here then. Now I am. I'll make sure nothing happens to you. Anyone asks, we'll say we got the address off a body we fished out of the bay. Uh, fine. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. I got no idea why you want to go poking around there. The club's empty. They shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Ryan died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, well, that's what I call a breakthrough. Seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's take it out. This market For sure. Goes. We're gonna take my car. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. You're the cop. You got the instincts and everything. Let's go. If you say we need to check out one more lead, we check one more lead. I trust you with that one. Get in. Let's hope you can talk properly. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. I mean, sure. But you know that already. Must say, you're kinda natural. I scared the guy off. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. <laughs> so, who are we supposed to talk to? That gunk? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, me. Yep, coming. Another car for sale. Thank you, Akako. Jesus. What's this? Read that. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left. You take the oh, right. Oh, hey there. Hey, Christine Markov. Do you not want to talk about it or? Okay. How about you? Christine Markov. No. As a stall. Don't know any Christine. This isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Okay. Jeez. Not get out. Still, I bet you're her, huh? Christine Markov. No, but I know who she is. Stand with the take. Over on the other side. Hmm? Okay. She's over there. Stop. Stand with the take. Stand with the tech. Other side. Hey there. Um, can't go through here. Oh, can't even fit through here. Man, these boots are fat shaming me. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, can I pass through? Thank you. Oh, you're already here. Nice. You, Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvat. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh, yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get All right, all right. Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an A.B. flying my fucking slim ass out of here. Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pato, weird doesn't mean what it means to everybody else. Your Horvath never was completely normal. But the post-jail Horvath versus the pre-jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. Had no other connection, those two. Think hard. Easy money? That's what Horvath was after. Didn't do time for nothing. Worked for normals, not the normals. Maybe he and Ryan had some mutual friends. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Well. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Horvath had sponsors. I don't think we learned much of anything new. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some oh, context. Scary. See, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. It means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. The neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident, coincidence, or maybe air dispersed poison. A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No, made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. I don't hear you. Step aside, Lug. Set up what if I actually do let him handle this? Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here. And I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Ryan. And wash your fucking wheels, you pig. Alright. He dealt with us better. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got a beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. We're at Queen's race now. Gonna ride with me? Sure. Oh. Meet damn it. There. Fine by me. I was actually going to ride with him, but okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, I need you to acquire something. Only me. No client. So I expect quick and clean results. You will be entering Tiger Claw territory. Very high risk. More information attached. Very high. Search and recovery. 
Lock breaker device, building on the corner of Holly and Floyd, door code 2137. A great treasure can turn out to be a great curse, remember that, V. One of the fences in my territory, Leah Gladen, came into possession of some highly valuable equipment, a lockbreak device capable of jailbreaking corpse hardware. Some call it a corp cracker. This tech opens doors for suits who want out but don't want to lose function of corp issued chrome or are looking to make an extra eddy by selling secondhand. Leah wasn't born yesterday, she knows what the tech is worth, she and I went back and forth, long price negotiations. We were close to reaching a deal when all contact was lost. Your job is to find out what happened to Leah, but, more importantly, to get that skeleton key for me. Don't bother reporting back until you have it. Don't waste time. Why not? It's this one, right? Just, you know, since I'm here. Oh. Actually, I want to see how dangerous it is. The one I'm doing. very high. Uh, which one am I doing? Danger moderate. That's fine then. I can do that. Personal access token? I'll take that. Go, go, go! Oh shit. Um, I'm sorry? I thought you wouldn't mind. Sorry, dude. Jesus. Out of my face! Let's just get rid of this guy. I did that. Nice. The emergency landing attempt proved. Oops. The passengers who survived the crashed landing were met by a band of nomads. Fortunately, Kang Tao's surviving security personnel managed to fend off the attack without suffering additional losses. The company has already announced a forceful response against the nomads' camps. After the break, all right. So there's a shard with whole building access. That's what I took, I guess. Raider, the guy, was here, went on about a pressure issue, saying there's a leak, set up some scaffolding, that's good, and then it disappears. Old buildings, one giant sitting duck for break-ins, yep, I'm gonna break in. You were right to worry. I don't know if I did the right thing to kill you, but, well, you were aggressive, so, kinda had to, I feel. Didn't have to, okay, I didn't have to. I stole your stuff, but... The thing is, it's the game's fault, okay? Usually you take stuff and nobody bats an eye, but now I take stuff and he's aggressive, it's... you know... Let me check in. Mega Medicine Lottery. Great. Same thing? Same thing. Hey, don't worry, man. You could just leave, you know. You don't need to stand here like this. But, whatever. Not gonna take the elevator. Just gonna walk. Access granted, yeah. For the love of and blue. Uh, couldn't I have been stuck in some model skull? Or I don't know, a fucking landscape architect? 
What is it now, Johnny? You prefer one? Being a landscape to architect? Roach infested flop houses again. That's what. Jobs a job. Yeah, I guess. Now, what was that code? Twenty-one thirty-seven something. I'll just what use technical ability. Shit, die. Wasn't slumming it in squats like your whole thing? Sure, when I was skezzed out beyond all recognition. Come on. Get me the food. Get the food. Damn it. Okay, fine. Whatever. Eat the pizza. With pineapple. That's right. What is this? Stop complaining. Get rich today. The first and most important lesson. You and only you are responsible for your situation in life. Don't wait for the government to take pity on you, don't wait for your loved ones to lend a helping hand, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps and get to work. I know what you're gonna say, unemployment is at 34%, but so what? What's stopping you from starting your own business? It's that damn simple. What's that? You say you need an education? So educate yourself for Christ's sakes. From now on, I don't want to hear any excuses. What matters is that you can be rich too, but you have to want it. And for that, you have to work for it. Wow. 2077 and still this kind of book is out there, huh? Eddies, spec cards, button-up shirt. Wait, that's still not here? That is strange, okay. Overture, nice, nice. And archived conversation, there we go. Tiger claws, huh? Tiger claws we're buying. That's, yeah, that's not a good sign, I guess. Messages. Venus nano gel. Uh, yeah, nothing there. But delivery from Vendomate. Your order is ready for pickup. As requested, steel wheels have been mounted to the bottom of your machine. Please remember that the maximum wheel load capacity is 2200 pounds. Using the wheels to support more than the specified weight may result in damages. Any questions or concerns? Etc. Huh. So, wheels on what? Huh. I have no idea. This one? Vending machine? Oh, yeah, 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 look at this. Wheels on the vending machine. Ew, the roaches. A lot of roaches. Well, well, well. Yeah. Secret doors. How cliche. How cliche? Why How do awesome. Peeps have to be so goddamn predictable. Are you kidding me? That's like the awesomest thing you could think of. Come on. Help me move. Oh, you're a hologram. You're useless, Johnny. So, how do I, uh, how do I move it then? How do I move it? Damn it. Fine. Oh, maybe that's the, uh, keypad. Oh, yeah, look at this. Mode deactivation. What? Okay. That thing? No. What the hell did I deactivate? It's off. Possibly remote control. Um? Hold on. Is that not it? What is this? What is this? What am I doing? Is that a radio or what is what is this thing? I don't know. Okay. So this, right? Button. Press it. Oh, there we go. No, that's not. Push. Oh. Finally. Must be connected to those doors. Yeah. Or is nice. flushing somewhere? Who knows? Dude, I'm in here. Don't, uh, Johnny. I'm back in here. I knew there was a room too. <laughs> Okay, let's read through her messages. Skeleton Looks key. like Leia went to the Tiger Claws. Behind Waco's back. Looks like it. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Claws aren't the deal honoring type. They're not? Let's see if she got lucky. 
Kiana, got something for you. A device for jailbreaking corporate equipment, uh, and so on, yeah. Don't think long. Holy shit, I'll give three, three times more. Wired head. Bukako. Make sure you hold on to something, because I've got something. Uh, Claire is frightened to me. The last trace is going down somewhere. Whatever. Alright. Uh, Claire? On the highway, whole city will be watching. Starting lies in Charter Hill, overlooking North Oak. Clicking you the courts. Call me when you get there. Meet you there. I just need to work through some stuff first. Um, damn. Which which one first, though? I was kind of thinking that it would be a different thing that I'm doing right now, honestly. Can't go in here. All right. Well, whatever. Zero. Oh, hey, there's something blue here. Nice. Didn't notice this before. See, I was going for that. Is this a door? No. This is an elevator. Oh, hey, got a picture. Rather be in the company of that stubborn ass, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think he's loosened up a bit. He's starting to realize he doesn't have to be the only voice around the campfire. We'll do us all some good. You were right, Pete. It's good being back with your people. In that city, in that city, I felt like the loneliest person in the world. Family gatherings, not my jam, but still happy. And abs it right again. Still hasn't really hit me yet. Still giving myself a trial period. You can't expect everything right from the start. But I feel like things are taking a turn for the better. You sure? No harm in thinking it over. The life of a lone wolf doesn't always end well. In any case, there's always a place for you with the Aldecaldos. Anyway, not to go before they get drunk off their asses or start another race. Take care of me. 